Welcome to the training module on Microchip's 16-bit and 32-bit PIC MCUs. This training module will discuss Microchip's 16 and 32-bit products, how to choose the right 16 and 32-bit Microchip product for your embedded application. Just to recollect, a designer has been designing a water system to automatically water his lawn. He has constantly raised the bar in his watering system design and has thus far been successfully meeting the challenges using newer and larger PIC products. Let us offer another challenge to him. The designer wants to collect data from his watering system. Using the temperature and humidity data he has been collecting over a period of time, he wants to analyze the data to maximize the efficiency of his watering system. In order to do this, the designer needs to collect the data over a period of time, then download the data to a portable USB thumb drive. He could then analyze the data using his desktop PC. The solution we have for this application is to use a PIC24F microchip USB device. First, let's discuss the new changes in the PIC24F family. Just a reminder that the changes in the new architecture are shown in the red blocks. PIC24F MCUs now have a 16-bit core operating at 16 million instructions per second, or MIPS. The core has a 16-bit ALU and 16 16-bit file registers, also known as working registers. These are typically referred to as W registers in the 8-bit core. There is a 17 by 17 multiplier to help out in math functions. A barrel shifter is added, which can shift right or shift left multiple times in a single cycle operation. For example, if we want to shift, say, a 16-bit value four times left, then this can be very easily accomplished using the barrel shifter in one single cycle operation. A JTAG interface is now available for emulation and testing. Since the majority of the programs on a 16-bit processor will be written in C, and to accommodate space for these programs, a large amount of flash program and data memory is now available on a 256K bit of flash and 16K byte of RAM. Many peripherals are also available, and many of them overlap with our 8-bit offering. The two new peripherals which stand out are the USB on-the-go or OTG peripheral and the CRC error correction peripheral. The OTG USB peripheral helps a customer design a host, device, dual role, and OTG USB implementation in an embedded application. There are over 40 devices in the PIC24F family with pin counts from 20 to 100 pins an architecture designed for C code efficiency. More flash program and data memory used to run large C programs. Peripheral pin select allows for rerouting digital peripherals to different I.O. pins on a device. USB OTG allows a host device dual row and OTG configuration. Charge time measurement unit and extreme low, pre low power sleep current. Getting back to the application mentioned at the C page, the application is satisfied with peripherals in the PIC24F family, but the designer needs more throughput or horsepower to run his application. Well, the microchip solution would be to use the PIC24H family of products. The PIC24H family is pretty much the same as the PIC24F family. The main difference is faster core running at 40 MIPS. In order to help faster operation, it also has an 8-channel DMA to help handle peripheral data. To understand how a DMA helps handle peripheral data, let us look at the, how a DMA may work with peripherals. To understand how a DMA works with, say, a UART, let's first look at how a typical CPU would handle a UART peripheral. First, the UART is getting serial data. Once buffer is full, it will interrupt the CPU to indicate its full status. The CPU has to then stop what it is doing, retrieve the data, and then save it to RAM for some later operation. 
This is done for every byte of data received. If this data is coming in large chunks at a fast rate, then the CPU gets interrupted quite a bit and the overall CPU throughput suffers. The UART can be assigned to one channel of the DMA. When the UART is full, the DMA is programmed to automatically get the data from the UART buffer and loads it into RAM. Not only that the DMA can be programmed to get multiple bytes of data from the UART and load it into RAM, when the specified number of data bytes is reached, the DMA then interrupts the CPU to signal that n number of data bytes are now available for analysis. In this manner, the CPU can do other more important tasks and leave peripheral handling to the DMA, thereby increasing the overall CPU throughput. Compared to the PIC24F products, the PIC24H runs as fast as 40 MIPS. There is more flash program and data memory. The DMAs available on the PIC24H family enhance the overall throughput and makes the CPU more efficient. It also has a more accurate number of peripherals. If an application requires more throughput, the designer could certainly use this family of products. Here we list out Microchip's DS PIC products. Adding a new challenge to the previous application, what if the designer needed to add a voice recognition or voice activated input to his system? Speech recognition is a computationally challenging application. In this case, Microchip's digital signal processors or DS PICs would be the ideal solution for this kind of application. The first member of the DSPIC family is the DSPIC30F family. As seen in the blue blocks, the core now has a DSP engine in it. This DSP engine can perform a 16 by 16 multiply and accumulate operation in a single cycle. The accumulator is 40 bits wide to allow for overflow from a 16 by 16 multiply operation, which normally would give us a 32 bit result. A codec interface is available for speech purposes. The DSPIC30F family is also designed for motor control applications, so a special motor control PWM peripheral is available along with a quadrature decoder interface which helps locate the position of a rotor in a motor control application. Some products also offer high speed switch mode power supply pulse width modulation well suited for switch mode power supply applications. The DSPIC 30F family has over 20 products running at 30 MIPS. With peripherals like single cycle MAC, high resolution 12-bit A to DC converters, and codec interface. This family is well suited for speech processing, and the designer can use it for his voice activated watering system mentioned before. This family is also designed for motor control and switch mode power supply applications. Another member of the DSPIC family is the DSPIC33F products. As can be seen, nearly all of the peripherals of the DSPIC30F are present in this family. To improve the throughput, however, the CPU speed has been increased to 40 MIPS and an 8-channel DMA has been added. As we have seen previously, adding a DMA greatly enhances the peripherals handling of the CPU, thereby increasing its overall throughput. The DSPIC 33F family offers over 33 products which run at a faster 40 MIPS. More program flash and data RAM is offered along with all peripherals required for speech analysis and control, motor control, and switch mode product supply applications. Here we list Microchip's 32-bit products. A new challenge to the previous application would be to create a super watering system with all the bells and whistles, internet connection, connection to a PDA, a graphics QVGA screen as a display, and touch control basically the Royals Royce of all watering systems. Well for this solution we would have to choose the PIC32 MCU. The PIC32 has the MIPS 
M4K core. This core runs at 80 MIPS with a dual set of 32-bit registers. These two sets of registers can be swapped one set to another in a single cycle. This operation is very useful and achieves faster interrupt handling. The core also has a 32-bit hardware multiply and divide module. Its ALU has a 32-bit five-stage pipeline for faster operation. To handle peripherals, a DMA is available. All common peripherals offered on other PIC products are also available on the PIC32. To talk to a PDA, a USB OTG with a dedicated DMA is available. Interfacing with a QVGA graphics panel can be easily accomplished using the 16-bit parallel master port. Nick can certainly design his top-end watering system with the PIC32. In a bullet format, the PIC32 family has 17 products built around the MIPS for M4K core and running at 80 MIPS. It has a 5 deep pipeline and achieves a throughput of 1.56 dry stone MIPS per megahertz. Large amounts of flash and data RAM, DMA controller for all peripherals, multiple channels of the usual peripherals like ADC, UARTs, SPI, I squared C, etc. USB OTG with a dedicated DMA and a 16-bit parallel master port to communicate with 16-bit peripheral devices. What hardware platforms would Nick use to develop the 16 and 32-bit applications? The top of the line debugger for microchip is the MP Lab Realize. This is a high-performance real-time debugger with unlimited debugging capability and real-time data monitoring features. The middle-of-the-road solution is the MPLAB ICD3. This debugger offers limited debugging and real-time data monitoring features. At the low end of the spectrum, we have the PicKit 3 Debug Express, which is Microchip's entry-level debugger. Depending on your application complexity, you now have a choice of selecting the appropriate debugger. For most 16 and 32-bit applications, Microchip would highly recommend the Realize debugger. In order to jumpstart the hardware platform for your design, Microchip offers a whole list of starter kits. The most important feature offered in a starter kit is that a debugger is included as part of the starter kit. The starter kit is a low cost and has some hardware and prototyping area for a customer to evaluate a PIC product. All starter kits are supported on MP Lab, and most are bundled with a C compiler, making it easy for the end user to program and evaluate the PIC device. The PIC24F Starter Kit 1 is a one-stop demo board to get started using a 16-bit PIC24F. The board highlights the PIC24F USB MCU as an embedded host dual row or OTG application. As an embedded host, it has firmware to interface directly to a USB flash drive connected to it. It has a high resolution OLED display and a touch keypad interface for user inter inputs. It has a built-in MPLAB compatible debugger built on the board. Power to the board is provided by the PC via the USB cable. With the free C compiler, and free MPLAB IDE provided, Nick can very easily start developing code for his application using this board. The DSPIC starter kit will get the designer started on his DSPIC application. This board has the codec interface for voice capture and playback, input from a microphone, and output to a speaker are built in. It comes with an integrated debugger compatible with MPLAB and a free C compiler. For the voice acted watering system, the designer could use this starter kit. The PIC32 USB starter board is a one-stop demo board featuring the PIC32 USB MCU. It is based on the PIC32 USB MCU and highlights the embedded host and OTG capability of the PIC32. 
the USB peripheral device interface connector is available for connection to, say, a flash drive. A special OTG port is also available for connection to other USB OTG applications. A MPLAB compatible debugger interface is built into the board, so no additional debugging tool is needed. Power to the board is provided by the USB to PC interface on the debugger port. A more general purpose hardware solution for 16 and 32 bit products is to use the Explorer 16 demo board. This demo board has a LCD display, LEDs, switches, and a plug-in module header or PIM header to which different PIMs can be plugged. PIMs for all microchip 16 and 32-bit devices are available. The board also has two expansion connectors. Additional specialized pigtail boards can be purchased for microchip to plug into these connectors. Examples of such pigtail boards are the Ethernet pigtail, the QVGA pigtail, USB pigtail, etc. This board supports all microchips 16 and 32-bit products. As we have seen in microchips portfolio, there are a lot of parts available, so it may be a little bit intimidating for a customer to select the right part for the assignment at hand. To help the customer select the right part for their application, Microchip has come up with a solution on its website. The solution is Microchip's Advanced Part Selector, commonly abbreviated as MAPS. The challenge is to select one MCU from over 500 plus MCUs, and also to select the right memory and analog products for the application. MAPS is available on Microchip's website at www.microchip.com forward slash maps. The lead page gives you three choices to start with, microcontroller, analog, and memory. Let us start with the micro first. Selecting microcontroller gives you a page where you can now enter the features that we'd like to see in the MCU of your choice. You can choose from 8, 16, or 32-bit products and a whole list of peripherals, some which may be important to have, some it may be, and some not at all. Pull-down tabs allow you to select these options, and when you're satisfied, you can view all the parts which meet these requirements. If you have too many options, you may want to narrow your search using filters and narrow your requirements down. When you are down to a handful of parts, you can do a side-by-side -side comparison between the parts, as in the next slide. A side-by-side -side comparison allows you to get a better view of the parts and compare and contrast and one part is better than the other. Hopefully you will have narrowed your search down to one or two, at which point you can order samples or look at pricing.